What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another unboxing and setup video. Now, this is an awesome, awesome video. This is a, a new advanced technology video that I'm going to bring to you, to you guys, the Raf Cave fans uh, from Wisa. So, as you know, Wisa technology is wireless home theater speakers. So, I know wires can be a hassle and a, and a lot of mess around the home. And you want to have something that's simple, easy to use, but wireless, right? And I did a, a unboxing and setup video of the uh, Platin uh, Monaco uh, home theater. So check that out. It's awesome. And it shows you these wireless speakers. As you can see, I have one here and one over here. That's, that's my surround sound. And those are only connected with a power cable. That's it. So you can get up to seven channels, even Dolby Atmos now, wirelessly. By just having speakers around the room and plugging your power cable and that was due to this uh, this is the uh, axum link now this is the original uh you know hockey puck transmitter puck that gives you the signal to your speakers now the thing is this was uh, new new technology was early and it wasn't available on all platforms this was only available on lg nano tvs and oleds and then on xbox uh, but what it does, you know, hook it up with a USB cable, right? Just USB. And it transmits the uh, Dolby Digital Sound. So it worked, you know, worked well for a smaller, smaller uh, demographic. But now, now, Sound Send. This is the brand new updated Dolby transmitter. Now, better yet, this uses ARC and eARC and also optical. So now all TVs can take advantage of the WISA sound technology. That's amazing. That's a breakthrough, right? So not only are you going to get a better way to connect it, everyone's going to be able to enjoy this. So for example, you get these speakers, put around your room, plug in your power, hook this up to your TV with HDMI or optical, and you're getting wireless surround sound. It's amazing. And the sound is high resolution as well, 24-bit. 96 kilohertz, all that great stuff. Plus Dolby Atmos with this dev device here. It's fantastic, guys. So I'm going to get this unboxed. I'm going to hook this up to my LG OLED. Okay, I'm going to remove the old puck, hook up this guy, and then I'm going to download the app. It's a free app on your you know, Android or, or Apple, t Apple, t Apple phone, and you're able to actually fine-tune crossover settings, EQ adjustments, volume levels, and change the surround, the surround parameters all from your app to really fine tune your audio system. It's gonna be great guys. And of course you can control it with your TV remote, just like just like a sound bar. You know, TV remote, the remote that comes with it, same thing. Or you can download the app and control it all from your app as well. So this is awesome guys. I'm excited. So I'm gonna get better sound and then you guys can check this out and start getting wireless surround sound. So without further ado guys, like, subscribe, share if you're new. Welcome to the Raft Gang Nation. I'm gonna on the boxes set this up guys. All right, guys, let's check out the official website for the sound sand and let's go through a few things on their website. All right, so this is the this is the web page for them. This is Wisa Wireless Speaker Audio Sound Send. I'll leave a link in the description below for, for this website. So yeah, turn your t smart TV into the center of your home theater. Look at this now. So it transmits to your wireless speakers and all certified speakers. Let's check this out. Look at this. Bang & Olufsen has WISA speakers. Wow. Electro comp Companion? Companion? It's an interesting speaker. Very cool. Enclave Audio. Very nice. Got mini towers here. Very cool. Harman. Right? Harman's got their speakers. Check those out. Those are nice. There's Klipsch. I love Klipsch. Absolutely. My entire home theater as you see here is Klipsch. So they have their own reference wireless speaker. That's pretty nice. Now Plantin. Now that's what I have right now. Now look at, yep. I have the 5.1, oh there. Axum Link, this one. This is what I have here. Plantin Monaco 5.1 Plus. And then now they got the Sound Send version there. SA, very nice speakers. Buckhart, Buchart. Denmark. Wow, they got nice speakers there. Savant has them. 
So guys, there's a lot of speaker companies that are invested in WISA. So definitely is a flavor for everybody. And look at this. All these different brands now can work with this. Quick setup, immersive sound, no wires, no speaker wires, no AV receiver you got to worry about. A big, big clunky brain box for all this. Just a small little puck in your TV. And also, guys, no Wi-Fi. It transmits its own signal. So it's not interfering with any of the other stuff. It's fantastic. And Dolby Atmos now. And it works with all these different streaming services. Just wonderful. And there's the, there's the app we'll download. So you can adjust the volume of all the speakers. Speaker settings. Go between different audio modes. That's awesome. And then adjust your mid-range, your voice, sub, all that stuff. Look at this. And you can adjust the actual configuration of your speakers. That's really neat. That's very, very neat. So they improved the app as well. So in my zone, you can dial in perfectly. Yep, right here. That's really cool. Is you can kind of basically just drag and, dra drag and drop your speakers around your listening position for the right uh, configuration. Plug in, sit back. Yep, sets up in minutes. Very simple. HDMI out of your TV with ARC or eARC. Right into it. Power, and you're golden. That's great. All right, guys. So let's... Uh, Let's hook this up and uh, see how it sounds, all right? Let's get it. All right, you know what time it is. Black pin. So we got just one piece of tape here. Now, guys, I'll leave a link in the description below to the website. All right, so the first thing you get is the quick start guy. Let's check this out. So confirm all certified speakers are plugged into the power, which they are, and connect your sound said device to the HDMI arc of your TV, and then plug in the power, and then the LED on the actual device will pulse, and then be solid when all connections are confirmed. And there's a button on top that you can search. There's a button on top that you can search uh, your speakers again if it doesn't find it the first time. Okay. That was easy there. Pull this guy out here. Ooh. Right there. Nice little package here. Sound send, power supply, and cable in the bottom. All right. They got the uh, the power power puck here, USB adapter, and micro USB. Probably about a uh, two and a half foot cord. Okay, there's your power supply. And then it comes with a standard HDMI cable. Hook up to your TV. It's probably a three footer. And now, the device itself, the main event. I like the color design on it. Very cool. A two-tone color. Very cool. It's got the Weissa logo right on top there. Very nice. Got the button here, the sync button right here on the back. There you go. HDMI eARC, AARC, or ARC, optical, and then your power, mini, mini USB. Very nice. Then you can have a little keyhole here if you want to hang it up, hang it on the wall. Boom, right? Very cool. Got the sensor in front. I'm sure that uh, broadcasts a signal. Or it's just a power light. Who knows? You know, I think it's a power light probably. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, let's get it hooked up and check it out. Let's get it. All right, guys. So what you want to do for the installation, just hook up an HDMI cable to it or an optical. And you want to hook up the power cable here, USB, USB power cable. That'll go right in there. And then on your TV, for the other end, you want to make sure you look for the uh, ARC, ARC or EARC right in there. That's going to ARC. Or you can use the optical out, right? And that'll go to the back of there as well. See? Right there. So either way, plug it in. And now let's get to the TV and turn it on. 
So you see now it's flashing. So it's going to scan the area and look for the speakers. And this is a LG uh, OLED, so I'm going to go to a sound profile here. And what we want to do is go to the sound out. And you want to switch it to, see, now we're not doing the WISA speakers, right? We're not doing this anymore because we're not using the USB. We're now going to go to HDMI ARC, right? So you're going to be HDMI ARC or optical. So you want to choose one of these two on your TV. So let's choose that. Okay, guys. So after some trial and error, there is something that is not on this troubleshooting guide that's very important. So what you want to do before you even go to this stuff here is you want to make sure you've paired your speaker or reset your current pairing or just get the speaker ready to be paired. And that's by holding your sync button down. Um, you know, associate or what kind of button it is. You will hold this down and then a network link will start blinking. And then when it's blinking, it's in pairing mode, or or basically you just, you know, removed it from the old, uh, from the old uh, device. And then once you once you do that on all your speakers, you know, once you do that on your speakers, you know, your center, your 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 right speaker, and then your subwoofer underneath there, and then your back speakers, and your push the button, and then you push the button there. After you do all that, then you hold down this button for five seconds until it goes white and then let it repair. Okay. So once it repairs and then it's going to start working. All right, guys. So now we're going to look at the sound send app. So once you download the app, you open it up, you're going to get your first, your first tab here is your speaker trim. So here right now we're in neutral. We're basically in flat level across the board and it sees all my speakers. So before you even start this, you want to make sure that uh, the, the link sees all your speakers and it'll pop up on the app here. So you can adjust the trim up and down of each speaker. That's here. Master volume is down here. As you can see, it works. Bad guys. Okay, it's very smooth. All right, so that's that tab. This next, the second tab is your speaker settings. So this is, for instance, I'm going to hit the, uh, the front left. You could do chime, speaker map, release, or Mac ID. Okay, that's the action of what you want to do for those speakers. Audio settings, right now we're on um, ARC. If you press it, you can go to optical if you want, right? So it depends on how you hook up uh, the device here with either HDMI or optical. You choose between those two and make sure it's selected here and also your TV, okay? So right now we're HDMI. Uh, lip sync, that's going to make sure if there's, a, if there's a delay, like the sound isn't matching with the lips, you can adjust that. Your audio mode is going to be your different sound settings between normal, movie, music, and night. Virtualizer on, uh, that's going to be your virtual surround sound, right? So it's going to give you uh, some extra um, audio effects in the rears and just kind of keep it more spacious. Uh, this is going to be your high setting. This is going to be your, your like your, your EQ, basically. Your highs, mid-range, your voices, your mid-bass, and your subwoofer. You can adjust all that from plus 6 to minus 6, so you can play around with that. And then the advanced settings, that's your speaker configuration. We're going to do 5.1 because that's what we currently have, but you can go up to the Dolby Atmos depending on how many speakers you have. Speaker map. All right, so that's the, the current configuration of this system. So that seems pretty accurate with the front three. But the back three, let's see, that's pretty accurate there too. And the subwoofer is kind of in the corner, so I like that. But otherwise, if you wanted to drag your, your speakers around, depending on your different configuration, you just hold it basically and you can move it around see so I'm gonna leave mine right there and if any one of these are mixed or messed up or messed up or inaccurate basically just unplug that speaker and then put it in the right spot and then re replug the other one so that's the quick way to do it all right so out of this screen here uh, then we have scan for speakers my zone I think we did that so here is when you can adjust the um, the distance right of how far the speakers are from you so for the center speaker I'm pretty much going to be sitting about five feet from it uh, let's go four so four feet and then the front oops then you click front let's say four feet and then we go there let's go four feet and then the surround zone that's a little closer we'll say three feet and then 
back there three feet and the subwoofer that's probably going to be six feet away so that's a nice way to kind of adjust the distance so that's really cool so we'll press the check marks that saves that and then you have factory reset so if something's not working properly just just reset everything and start over audio format that's what i'm receiving from the tv dolby surround and then the device version there if you want to see what uh, you know software update or whatnot otherwise guys that's the uh, that's about the gist of it all right guys so in all it was a great great experience to set this up and i'm really really happy that finally wisa can be experienced on all the tvs out there through optical or hdmi eARC or arc and it's great guys they have wireless speakers in your room so much more convenient so much less to worry about and just simpler to use at home so here it is guys so if you want to get the wisa technology go ahead and grab this guy here i'll leave a link link in the description below where you can uh, go to the website and get this one up here and then of course all the different speakers you can go out and get and start your wisa wireless home theater journey all right guys and thanks guys for, uh, for watching this video hit that like button subscribe if you're new and i appreciate the product test out for you guys it's amazing all right guys have a great day home theater rules raf gave out see ya